Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. In this video, we are going to be talking about the harsh reality of data analyst jobs in India. So if you're a fresher, don't skip this video because I've specifically made this video for you. So let me get started. I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of emails from the people saying that they have been applying to data analyst jobs from very long, uh, from like six months, and they have not been getting any interview calls from anywhere. And a lot of people who are middle aged, uh, assuming that they are in 35 to 40s. So yeah, they are uh, they want to transition to data analysis. God knows why. But yes, uh, they have been doing their mechanical engineering stuff or any other uh, jobs, but they want to transition to data analysis. So they are saying that they are not getting any interview calls and they have already left their jobs. So please don't do such mistakes because of the fact that there are a lot of people applying to single job post in data analysis. Uh, I've been uh, watching the Nokri and LinkedIn from uh, like two, three days and I've been seeing that uh, six to seven thousand people applying to single job post, which is kind of very frustrating. It's even worse than the uh, people who are preparing for government jobs because there are some kind of job security you have and whether in data analysis you are not going to get any and also uh, if you think that data analysis is really cool so let me tell you the harsh side of it that uh, most of the industry just as uh, look for excellent sql skills so if you're uh, really good at sql querying or you, if you know advanced excel stuffs so yes you are a data analyst but if you are uh, limited to just two tools, you're not going to move anywhere in uh, industry. So you think that being a data analyst is very cool. It's not. Yes, um, SQL querying is not that bad or uh, having advanced Excel skill is not that bad. But having limited to just two tools and not learning the most demanding technologies of today would uh, actually be very bad for you. So yes, uh, don't study data analysis unless and until you have some experience into it and you want to move to uh, like a data science role or data engineering role or business analysis role. So if you have experience, please go for it. But don't solely depend on being a data analyst. And if you're just fresher, just go for software engineering role, uh, learn Python, learn Java, any kind of uh, programming languages, learn it. Uh, I would suggest you to learn pro pro Python because it's in demand. So yeah, go for Python and then study DSA, go for uh, learning aptitude, learn uh, to be uh, really fluent in English. So these uh, things, when you learn it, I'm sure there are a lot of openings in the markets. Uh, you will go for such opening and I'm sure you'll be getting hired. This path is really tougher than the one that you are going for. Uh, um, th that is data analysis because learning data analytics tools are quite easier than the one for uh, learning entire DSA or entire programming languages. Uh, this path is a bit tough, but let me tell you that it, it will lead you somewhere. You will not fe be feeling stuck anywhere. And uh, just like data analysis, uh, analyst pressure, so people are just continuously applying and they are not moving anywhere. So this won't uh, be as as like a data analyst, you will go somewhere. Uh, let me tell you the industry that hire for uh, service based industry actively hire for the fresher who have some knowledge of programming languages. And I uh, let me tell you, they will not uh, be uh, employing you to do the technical task of coding or such as these. Most of the work in the say, service based industry is for the support project. That is, you will be working on the agile method methodologies, such as uh, you will be doing work on Jira, Confluence and there are other clouds. Uh, there are clouds that you are going to work for. So there you will get knowledge that which way to go for. For example, when I was in Infosys, I knew that AWS is very much in trend and people were getting trained a lot on AWS associate roles. And then they were going further on such role and there were free certification for such roles as well. <clears throat> And I, and when I see the LinkedIn or Nokri and when I search for AWS associate and AWS uh, consultant roles. So I see that a lot of less people apply to such roles, but they are the jobs are rising in such a industry. So if you just go in any kind of service based industry, they will train you and they will make you uh, worthy of going somewhere valuable. So just uh, apply for such companies such as TCS Infosys Wipro. I'm not saying if you're a genius, go for these companies because they can ruin your career, but uh, because you're a brilliant mind and you don't have to be uh, sitting in such companies where you would be working on a support project. It's for the people who are just actively looking for a job and not going anywhere. So you need to start from at least anywhere. So please go for it. Just don't be deluded uh, sitting there and feel like uh, you're not worthy of anything. So, so, so just uh, choose this path and go 
you will it will lead to you to somewhere last thing that i want to mention is don't get influenced by the influencers on youtube or on instagram so uh, the pay scale for uh, data analyst role is not that much that you think of it's a lot lesser than uh, what you think for a fresher uh, even the packages start from 3 lpa to 4 lpa which is not uh, enough for someone to sustain their life in the uh, cities like uh, bangalore pune hyderabad so yeah don't uh, get deluded by the fact that you are getting uh, going to get paid a lot well uh, when you become a data analyst it's not the truth and uh, yeah it's uh, prepare for the roles that i've mentioned also along with that you can uh, study the cloud platforms such as salesforce sap so these kind of uh, clouds uh, are booming nowadays and i'm sure you will be placed somewhere if you learn such skills And yeah that's it for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you have found this video helpful please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so yeah bye bye for now until we meet next time